Linear equations come in all shapes and sizes. Um, for this particular example, we are going to be dealing with a money problem. Um, I have 15 coins worth $3. If all I have is dimes and quarters, how many of each denomination do I have? Okay, so we basically have a collection of change, and we're trying to figure out how we can all make this work numerically. So let's take a look. So we have 15 coins worth $3. Um, Again, I just tend to like diagrams, I make them all the time. So basically we know we have dimes and we know we have quarters. Okay, dimes are worth 10 cents or a tenth of a dollar. Quarters are worth 25 cents or a quarter of a dollar. And we don't know how many of either of these we have. So let's say we have a certain number of dimes, let's call it x. Okay. We don't know how many quarters we have either, but we do know that we have 15 coins total. So if we have five dimes, we know we'd have to have 10 quarters. If we have seven dimes, we'd have to have eight. So you subtract the difference from 15, and that's the number of quarters we have. Together we add these up, and we end up with $3. The trick that people sometimes have problems with is understanding the difference between the amount of money a coin is worth versus having a coin itself. So you have one dime, you have 10 cents. You have one quarter, you have 25 cents. So a dime and a quarter, yes, you have two coins, but they're actually worth that 10 plus that 25, 35 cents. So making sure you designate between denomination and coin is really, really important. So we have X dimes, that are worth 10 cents. If I have two dimes, how much do I have? 20 cents. 10 dimes, a dollar. So you take the denomination times the amount that you have. So 0.1x is the amount of money you have in dimes. Same idea for quarters. You have four quarters, you only have four pieces of change, but you actually have four times 25 cents, a dollar. So you wanna make sure you, again, multiply your denomination of money times the number of coins you have. And we want these to equal $3. So sort of just to make sure you understand what we have, this is the amount of money we have in dimes plus the amount of money we have in quarters is equal to the total amount of money that we have. From here, linear equation, 0.1x stays the same. Distribute this 0.25 in. Just to make sure I don't do my math right, 0.25 times 15 is 3.75 minus 0.25x is equal to 3. Combine like terms, so 0.1x and negative 0.15x, negative 1.5x plus 375 is equal to 3. Get our x term by itself, so subtract over the 375. We end up with negative 0.15x is equal to negative 0.75. Solve it up, divide by that coefficient. Point 0.75 divided by 0.15 is equal to 5 x is equal to 5. Okay, as always with word problems, make sure you're answering the question that you're asked. So the question is asking for how many of each denomination do I have? What we found is x, which we said is the number of dimes. So we know that we have five dimes. We know we have 15 coins total. So Five of those are dimes, that leaves us with ten quarters. You can always check your work. If you have ten quarters, that's two fifty. Five dimes is fifty cents. Two fifty plus fifty is three dollars. So we made our word problem a diagram to an equation and solved it up.